We can also compare the front views uh, at the different amounts of drop. Here is that, uh, here is the front view that coincides with the least amount of drop, um, the uh, less than 10 centimeters of drop, and you can see a good bit of the front of my torso. You can read the writing on the front of my uh, jersey, and of course this is all stuff the wind sees. Now this is the the um, position uh, with with the mid-teens, the position that more closely mimics the uh, what a lot of the Kona pros are using. Uh, this is so you know a much flatter position, and you can see that that you know my frontal area is has been reduced a good bit by uh, doing this amount of drop. And certainly, like I said, this is not extreme. It's something that should be comfortable if done right, and it can be maintained. Um, for long periods of time, again, if, if everything is set up right, but it's pretty easy to see the reduction in uh, frontal area here. But uh, just for comparison purposes, um, we can go even further and look at the extreme position um, and uh, and do a comparison. So if we look at that uh, position with the extreme drop, uh, there's obviously a huge difference here in the um, amount of visible frontal area versus the uh, the low drop position. Uh, certainly the potential benefits of this can be can be seen for uh, someone who's trying to go extremely fast for, for not a uh, very long period of time uh, necessarily. Um, you know this could uh, could allow the rider to potentially go a lot faster again uh, assuming that they can generate the power here and that they can hold the position and um, you know, I can say that the position itself is not that uncomfortable at all um, when done properly. Um, the main source of discomfort that would occur in this position is has to do with um, trying to sight and uh, having a neck and um, shoulder issues with with just trying to look down the road a little bit. Uh, it gets it gets a little bit tough. So for any extended period of time, that would be very difficult. Um, but we can um, once again just do a, uh, a morph here of the positions and again get, get a very dramatic comparison of you know, how much frontal area is going down the road in the one position versus how much in the other. And, and really the ideal position for most triathletes is, is uh, somewhere in the middle of these two.